People across the globe are marking International Codes Day, which falls on the last Friday of the holy month of Ramadan. In Yemen, people took to the streets across the country, reiterating their support for the Palestinian cause while denouncing Israeli occupation and atrocities against Palestinians. Similar rallies were also held in Iraq, including in its port city of Basra. People in Bahrain and Jordan also took to the streets in solidarity with the Palestinian people's resistance against the occupying regime. In occupied Jerusalem al-Quds, more than 70,000 people attended the last Friday prayers of Ramadan at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. This is the second year International Al-Quds Day is marked amid the COVID pandemic, but it hasn't lacked vigor and importance as people in many countries have held various events, including speeches by political and religious leaders. Joining us uh, out of Ann Arbor, Michigan is Mr. Blaine Colin, now BDS campaigner and commentator for more on the story. Hello, Blaine. Pleasure to have you back on uh, Press TV. Your thoughts on what Al Goods Day means uh, to you and the plight of Palestinians? Put it all in perspective for us. Uh, hi, Danielle. Well, to me, uh, every day is Al Quds Day. Mm. And I think that uh, what we've been doing this week is pushing again for a BDS resolution, a resolution against military aid to Israel. And uh, I will hold a picture up from our latest trip to Ann Arbor City Council. And uh, can you see me right there up uh, holding the sign? Mm hmm. There I am. And so we've been doing this for almost 20 years now in the Ann Arbor City Council. And that's what it means to me is demanding no more military aid for Israel, demanding boycott against the apartheid state of Israel, and demanding divestment against Israel. And you can do it in every city council. You can demand resolutions against Israel for action like boycott, like cut off of military aid. You can demand those actions against Israel, whether you're in Ann Arbor City Council, Paris City Council, or if I were in Tehran, I would be doing it in the Tehran City Council. I mean, it's not such a hard thing to do. And as you see from that picture, we have gotten major news coverage in Ann Arbor for that. So I hope other people will consider doing the same thing in their city councils, BBS resolutions. It's not hard to get to your city council. I mean, you live there, it's in the same city. And, and, so Blaine, that's, and Blaine, what's, what's yeah. funny about the, the BDS is there are some Western governments that not only do they sit by it and it's very well documented, there's no one that can actually turn a blind eye to what's happening to Palestinians for the last 70 years and it's only getting worse with time because their land is getting smaller and smaller, the, the land that they get comfortably uh, reside upon right now. And uh, everybody, basically so many Western uh, nations have turned their back to them. Then you have the BDS and there's a couple Western nations that you very well know calling the BDS an anti-Semitist group and you very well know, <laughs> and, and that's a far cry. Yeah. You know, that's kind of, that's kind of really a, a kick in the gut for the BDS because it's trying to stand up for the rights of somebody and it's being cast out as a, as a hate group to, to certain Western countries. Tell us how twisted that is. Well, here's how twisted it is, Danielle. Actually, Human Rights Watch has just now come out with a statement that Israel is practicing the crime of apartheid and persecution against the Palestinian people. And Human Rights Watch is a pretty conservative group. It took them forever to say it. But they have said Israel is practicing the crime of apartheid. And furthermore, a big Israeli human rights group called Beth Salem has said the same thing, that Israel is an apartheid state. Israel is practicing apartheid. So if you have these not very adventurous human rights groups confirming to you that Israel is an apartheid state, that tells you who the racist is. That tells you who needs to have BDS resolutions against them. And that's the obviously racist state of Israel. Don't pay attention to what these idiots say who are who are calling you an anti-Semite. If you're demanding human rights for the Palestinian people, you are an anti-racist fighter. Good stuff, but stay safe. Always a pleasure to have you on. And until we see you again, Mr. Blaine Coleman, they're joining us out of Ann Arbor, Michigan.